You guys, I don't even know where to start. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share a grocery haul and meal plan. I know it has been a crazy long time since you guys have seen me. It has been absolutely nutso since we arrived back here in the Carolinas. We kind of hit the ground running as soon as we got here. So this grocery haul is actually two weeks old. It is the grocery haul that we got from the Walmart grocery pickup as soon as we arrived back here home from visiting our family in New York. Now I do have a status update on our move and what's been going on on the home front for the last couple of weeks and that's coming up for you guys early next week. I just have a few things that I committed to that I have to put out beforehand. But for now, we're gonna get into this grocery haul, which like I said, was the very first one upon arriving home, which was getting us reset up for being here as well as setting my boys up for the start of school. Okay guys, so here is a quick overview of what I got for $152 at Walmart's grocery pickup. So this is a combination of stuff that I needed for dinners for the week and because the kids are starting school, which is like so scary to me because now I don't have one starting school with lunches, it's two. So my mind was all over the place. Mason eats completely different than Jake, so it's uh, this is gonna be quite the challenge. Uh, so I did get Arby's curly fries. We're gonna do uh, Arby's roast beef sandwiches one night. I picked up this little Jif to go natural creamy peanut butter. There's eight individual cups in here. I thought this would be good for Mason. He likes to do like crackers with peanut butter and jelly or he would dunk like celery or something like that into the little cups of peanut butter. So I got these for his lunch boxes along with some extra organic strawberry applesauce. Normally I would only get one box but I picked up two because I really feel like this is something that will be really easy and a quick snack for Mason to throw in his lunch box. So I got two this way Maya can have some also. Goldfish for Maya and for Mason's lunchbox, and then two boxes of popcorn. I did get pancake and waffle mix. I'm going to do some breakfast for dinner this week. Normally I would have tried to do like something a little bit more on the healthier side, but I've already packed like all of my flours that I would use to make, you know, a different kind of pancake. And I've been doing like the Kodiak cakes and stuff, but I bought a bunch of that stuff at my mom's and left it there. And she's mailing it back to me, so I didn't want to double buy that stuff. So I just got the plain old regular buttermilk pancake and waffle mix. And I'm anxious to try this in that waffle maker because everything else that I've made was more of a low carb or um, protein kind of waffle and I feel like they made a little bit different. The texture was totally different in that waffle maker than I was anticipating. So I want to try it with like plain old regular pancake mix and see how it works out. Uh, two things of Pop-Tarts, the kiddos got their Strawberry Nature's Path Organic. They really liked the blueberry ones, so I'm sad that I can only get the strawberry ones here, but it's the best I can get as far as the organic ones. And then Jake got his regular Pop-Tarts as well, but with school coming and breakfast, Jake usually only has them like once or twice a week, um, and I usually do the same thing for the kids, just kind of giving them variety for breakfast and to limit their intake of that kind of stuff. But still, even if it's just one day a week, it's one breakfast like already crossed off. So I um, got our Richard's peanut butter. I've really, really been loving this. I don't know if I'll ever buy anything else unless I go to Aldi because I really love Aldi's peanut butter as well. I um, got a packet of ranch mix. Jacob is going to tear up my ranch with vegetables this year. I wasn't making the homemade ranch when he was in school last year taking lunch so this year with that ranch and all of the veggies and stuff that he likes to dunk in it I think I'll be able to get a lot more greens in Jake so I made sure to get the ranch stuff for that picked up a thing of eggs I'm going to do hard-boiled eggs for both Mason and Jacob's lunch boxes um, as well as like I said we're going to do breakfast for dinner so I got the big pack I uh, got a thing of tater tots that's for burgers one night Got a thing of the Mission Carb Balance Tortillas. This is going to be for chicken roll-ups. I got some regular old hamburger buns. This is just going to be for the hamburgers. I use my smart buns and the kids aren't picky. So I just got the great value kind. And then, you guys, I haven't been going to the DT. No cobblestone onion rolls. Like, how can I make Arby sandwiches without that? So I found the Pepperidge Farm Bakery Classic Onion Burger Buns. So hopefully these will be like a good dupe for that. 
And then I got this Joseph's Lavish Bread. So Nicole Burgess has been talking about this and her kids have been eating it like in place of bread. And so I figured I was gonna try that with Mason with some sandwiches for school. Jacob's been liking wraps too, so if I can get him to eat this, that would be great. These are huge. Like I would have to cut this in half for Mason, but this would be good for Jacob. But six grams of protein, only 60 calories for this. I and mean, there's only four in this bag. So I'm I'm gonna test it out with the kids and if they like it uh, I heard that they sell this in bigger amounts at Costco so I'm gonna have to find a Costco and stock up on that uh, this was a substitution for me this is the nature's own life double fiber wheat bread I wanted the Sara Lee 45 calorie bread but they were out of it this isn't bad and normally I get this at the DT for a buck but this is like three and change there so it's more expensive than the bread they sub me for so I'll take it it's better than not having loaf bread need bread if we're starting school so took that substitution um, got a big two pound thing of strawberries Maya will eat these and I will be able to give this to probably both Jake and Mason in their lunchbox so I got the big two pounds container got celery for myself. I really like this with cream cheese and hot sauce and um, Mason will take this to Dunkin' Peanut Butter and Maya likes this Dunkin' Ranch and Jake will probably eat this Dunkin' Ranch too. So I have a feeling this is going to go fairly quickly now that we're starting to prepare lunches again. Uh, two cucumbers for that. Daryl's French Vanilla Coffee. They were out of my coconut of course. So I'm just going to use the donut shop pods that I have left that I bought for people to come and have coffee for uh, the open house and stuff like that so I'll just use those and then I'll replace it got a thing of penny rigatti for penny olive vodka I pick up these little Swiss cake rolls I know Jake likes these and they were on rollback for 92 cents so I just grabbed these as like a sweet treat for him for his lunchbox I didn't really get like Oreos and all the stuff that I normally get because I kind of don't want to overstock my cabinet so for 92 cents I just grabbed something you know to have fun to throw in his uh, lunchbox and then those are the crackers for Mason to take peanut butter and jelly. Got the old El Paso stand and stuff taco shells. That's going to be for taco night one night. Here is the nacho cheese for the Arby sandwiches. Normally I would do like a whole big, when I make my penne alla vodka, I do it with like tutoroso and I start basic with tomato sauce and all of that. Ain't nobody really got time for that. All that stuff is packed right now, and I'm going to try and do everything as simple and easy until I'm out of here. So I just got the Bertoli Organic Tomato and Basil, and I'm just going to use that as my base for my penne alla vodka because then it's like the vodka, parm cheese, and heavy cream. It's pretty simple. I actually have a cooking video for that, so I'll link it up above if you guys want to check it out, but it's one of my favorite recipes, and it's super, super, super easy. So uh, I got that for that got a bunch of bananas uh, that'll probably be a great go-to breakfast for Mason like that in a bar or a yogurt he'll be all about that so got that uh, this was a substitution I wanted the one already cut up but they subbed me the head not a big deal so I ended up with that I think I'm going to use this again as my pasta substitute so if you saw my what's for dinner I put out last week I showed you guys that with broccoli and shrimp I made alfredo sauce and I poured the alfredo over the broccoli and the shrimp and I ate that like a bowl of pasta while they ate pasta so uh, I think I'm going to do that again this time but I'm going to do it with cauliflower so I got that for that Got some uncured hard salami. We really like the Hormel natural choice. It's like the third or fourth time I've gotten it and it's been like the perfect serving size for the whole week. And Maya likes this rolled up with cream cheese and so do I. So those are really good lunches for her and I. And then a bunch of cold cuts. So here is the roast beef that we're gonna use for the RB sandwiches. And then I got myself bologna. I don't know why, but I've been on a bologna kick lately. So that's like uh, just rolling this up with some cheese has been like a lunch for me. So I got that. And then turkey lunch meat for the kids to take, for the boys to take sandwiches. Uh, four tomatoes, some are for lunch and some are for like the burgers and stuff for the week and then I got some sliced cheeses I got rid of all of my cheeses or whatever we had left we brought to my mom so now I'm back down to like nothing in the refrigerator so I got some sliced provolone for sandwiches I got sliced mozzarella for a recipe and then I got a block of Monterey Jack and a block of sharp cheddar that I will shred for like taco night and stuff 
back to our two gallons of milk because now I'm home so I don't know how long I'm stuck here. So back to the two gallons of milk, got a four pack of butter. That's kind of annoying. I don't want to go to BJ's and stock up but I need my butter and I prefer the butter. I'm like, I don't know if I want to drive all the way out there for like a partial stock up. I don't know, it's like a conundrum for me. So grocery shopping should not be this difficult. Uh, got a thing of French vanilla creamer for Dow. I'm actually mad we left like a half of one at my mom's. I should have grabbed it before I left but I forgot. Uh, double pack of cream cheese for recipes and for the salami. Plus I brought home New York bagels for my kids, so they'll be eating that for breakfast for the next couple of weeks. So I need a cream cheese for that. Um, got a big thing of five pound thing of ground beef. Um, it's probably like not the greatest deal. I like the one that comes like in the cardboard tray. That usually is the better um, deal, but this was on rollback. So whenever it's on rollback, I just grab this. I get three meals out of it and call it a day. I uh, got some bacon for the breakfast for dinner and then a pack of chicken for two meals this week. I think I'm pretty much going to do that just by week to week so that I'm not overstuffing my fridge. No sale items, no nothing, literally just what I need. Uh, heavy whipping cream for the penny all vodka, sour cream for taco night. This is yogurts for Mason's breakfast or maybe like I'll freeze one and stick it in his lunchbox. So got that. Here's the buttermilk for the ranch and then the only non-food item that I got was paper towels. I still have some toilet paper and laundry detergent and stuff here and we picked up, you know, diapers and all that stuff along the way. So I think we should be good for now, but this unfortunately was my grocery pickup and now let's roll into the meal plan I didn't think I'd be giving you. Okay guys, so here was the meal plan for the 12th through the 18th. This was the day that we traveled home from New York and came back here. And this was the meal plan that I put together, which is coinciding with the grocery haul that you guys saw. So on the Monday before we left, we did friendlies to go. We got DoorDash with my family here. We don't have like uh, DoorDash or Uber Eats or anything like that in our area. And so we don't ever get to really do anything like that. So my family showed us how that works. And we did a friendlies to go, which was really good. And then on Tuesday, we just did appetizers because that was the day that we left to travel back here and we drove through the night. And I just wanted to keep it nice and light and easy before we were leaving. So we did like pizza and clams and popcorn chicken and that kind of stuff, like just all like picky foods. Um, and then the first night that we came back, I actually did a grocery pickup and had it ready since we drive through that town to come home. So we actually picked up the groceries en route to our house. And so I decided to do tacos and nachos that first night back. Tacos are super easy, something to just throw in a pan. I didn't have to find a whole lot of stuff in here to pull that together. So we did tacos and nachos. And then the next night we did RB sandwiches and curly fries. I used a smart bun and everybody else used those cobblestone rolls and we had the curly fries and we hadn't had it in forever and it was so yummy. Then Friday ended up being a bump meal. You guys will see that in the next grocery haul that it appeared again on Friday. But I had planned to make penne alla vodka with just a tomato and cucumber salad. And then on Saturday, we were doing chicken roll-ups with whatever nachos were left from the few days before. This is really awesome, you guys. I just featured this in a What's For Dinner video, one of the last ones that I put up. I'll link it up above if you guys missed it. But this is one of the recipes from my cookbook, something that I came up with years and years and years back and just kind of perfected. And I love going back and being able to find recipes that I can do that are still healthy for me. So by using those low carb tortillas, I don't feel guilty about having this with everybody else. So that was really delicious. And then of course we finished the week off with breakfast for dinner because that is super easy and always something that is not difficult to pull together. So that is it guys for this week's grocery haul and meal plan. Thank you so much for always being patient with me as I struggle to get my videos out, but you guys are going to have tons of content coming out in the next couple of days, as well as like back to back to back grocery hauls, just so that I can get caught up onto where we are at. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.